In this video, we're going to see peak detector. To be very precise, it's an ideal voltage peak detector. So if you have to detect something and remember it, we need to have a memory element. And of course, we are talking about diode circuits here. So we have a circuit with a diode and a memory element, which is a capacitor. This circuit is very similar to a half wave rectifier. Just in place of a resistor, we have a capacitor here. Here, let's say we have the input voltage and we have output voltage here. Let me take the input voltage to be a sinusoid waveform. Well, let's say the input voltage is Vi is equal to Vm sin omega t. Now to start with, let me assume that the capacitor holds no charge, which means the voltage across the capacitor is zero, which means when we start, the voltage at the end side of the diode D1 is zero. And as the input voltage keeps increasing from T equal to zero, the voltage across the diode is positive, which means the diode is forward biased, which means let's take the diode to be short circuit in the first case. Then the circuit diagram would be like this. In that case, there would be current flowing and the voltage across the capacitor will be the voltage at the input itself. So the output voltage will be equal to input voltage. So let me represent the output voltage in a different color here. Let's say V naught in green. The capacitor voltage, which is the output voltage, keeps increasing as it follows the input voltage. But when it reaches the peak value Vm, when the capacitor voltage reaches Vm and after which the input voltage decreases, at which point the voltage at the P side of the diode would be lesser than the voltage at the end side of the diode, which means the diode would become reverse biased beyond this point. So this is T is equal to T by 4. So the first case, let me put when T is in between 0 to T by 4, the capacitor gets charged where the current is drawn from the input and the capacitor gets charged to the peak value Vm. And afterwards, the second case, when T is greater than T by 4, the diode will be open circuit. The circuit would look like this, but still the capacitor would hold the charge to such a value that the voltage across the capacitor will still be Vm, which means the output voltage after that T is equal to T by 4 will be Vm. So the output voltage we can show here, which will hold Vm value. So now we see here, this is the red one is corresponding to the input voltage and the green one is corresponding to the output voltage. When we neglect the transition region 0 to T by 4, where the diode D1 is conducting, where it is in on state and rest of the time it is off, in which case it is not conducting where it is open circuit. So if you look at the circuit diagram and how it is functioning, the steady state output voltage will be Vm, which means that this circuit has detected the peak value of the input waveform. Now to understand this better, let me take a very random waveform and see how this circuit works on that particular input waveform. Now let me take a input voltage waveform to be something like this. Now let us figure out if this is input, what will be the output of this peak detector. Now let's start from T is equal to zero. At T equal to zero, the voltage across the capacitor will be zero. Now as time increases, as the input voltage increases, the voltage at the P side of the diode will be higher compared to the N side of the diode, which is the voltage across the capacitor. Hence the diode gets forward biased, which is short circuit. Hence the voltage across the capacitor would be equal to the input voltage. So it keeps following the input voltage as I am tracing here. When it reaches this peak value here, beyond which the capacitor voltage would be higher compared to the input voltage, which means the voltage across the diode would be negative. As a result, the diode would be open circuit. Hence, the capacitor would hold on to that charge, which means the voltage across the capacitor would remain same until a point where the input voltage is higher than the voltage across the capacitor, in which case the diode would turn on and we can take that to be a short circuit. Hence, the output, which is the voltage across the capacitor would follow the input until a point 
where we reach another peak beyond which as we are seeing the input voltage would decrease hence the diode would become off open circuit the capacitor would hold the charge hence the voltage would be same until a point where again we hit a uh, input voltage which is higher than this where the diode turns on and the capacitor follows the input voltage until it hits another peak beyond this point the voltage across the capacitor would remain constant because the input voltage is going to be less than the voltage across the capacitor hence the diode is open circuit and the capacitor would hold on to this voltage now if you look at the conduction region and non-conducting region so let me mark it here where the diode is on which means it is allowing current to flow through to charge the capacitor to follow the input voltage in this case diode is on and in this region the diode diode is off here the diode is on here the diode is off so let me represent the conduction by making marks here now in fact here we have seen a positive peak detector circuit i have shown the same circuit here now you have to remember always that the diode has a arrow mark symbol which indicates that it allows the current to flow through in that direction which means the current would be allowed to flow in this direction when the diode is conducting in that case the voltage across the capacitor would be like this which means the output voltage that we look at will be positive hence we can say it is a positive peak detector now similarly if you want to see a negative peak detector obviously we have to see that the voltage across the capacitor is the reverse compared to the reference output voltage we are measuring which means the diode should be reversed in its place so let's see that circuit here in this circuit as the arrow mark indicates when the diode allows the current to flow through it will flow in this direction which means this side of the capacitor will be positive and this side will be negative now based on our reference output voltage the voltage across the capacitor is negative hence we call this a negative peak detector in the next video we will talk about clampers in which we are going to talk about the voltage across the diode instead of voltage across the capacitor if you like the video please give a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe and thank you for watching